place that you like to mine? I yeah. guess this mountain. I don't have torches in this. This no longer uh, mine. This like <laughs> pinkish clay. That's the kind of stuff that we want, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, get show me which which clay. Yeah. First. It's like this pink, the the one that's all over the place. Oh, this one. Oh. <clears throat> okay. That's the one. Oh, my inventory is full of ender pearls. Who wants some ender pearls? <laughs> Stop. Yeah. I do. I do. Ender to pearl me, party. Nathan. You know you want to give them to me. Thank you. That's good. Okay. Whoa. whoa. <laughs> stop whoa. giving me them now. <laughs> and then poet shows up, and I stop getting them. <laughs> there we go. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Okay. Ads and watch out. I'm just mining. How are we? Are we? Hey right. guys, and welcome to another mindless mining. Welcome to. A minute in. Welcome. <laughs> Doing like hardened clay this time. So what do you mindless. think of the idea any... Huck was going to make a game show one time? It's not not a game show, I mean a talk show. Talk. <gasps> oh, there's a hole there. That's cool. Thanks. I just saw an ages, they just drop. <laughs> what, would a, what would a time shot talk show even be like? Hmm. The time uh, shot talk show. I would imagine it'd be kind of like a podcast. So kind of like this? Kind of. With cameras and action? Action. Yeah. Action packed. Um... Yes. Oh, my pig is gone. But you'd have like a host who would like direct the conversation and yeah. stuff. Could you have like as opposed stuff? to not having any host whatsoever direct anything? Yeah, as opposed to Nothing this. Is <laughs> as, as opposed to this, <laughs> where we basically just this, we just talk just... as normal, and that's the show. Nobody likes to see people talking normal. They don't? <laughs> then good job they're here. Are you being serious? I don't know. No, I'm not being serious. I hope they do. Well, I could be. Well, I guess we'll see whenever well, those we, videos we come out. we talk about <laughs> poop and things. Yeah, we do talk about poop. Quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Taking a dump. An unhealthy amount. Yeah. <laughs> What is a healthy Whoops. amount of poop? No, no, well, no. We could go back to that. No, 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 no. Can we not? Can we not? Can Did we not? Did I send you guys that? Yeah, that was like the twatch tube thing. What? Yeah. Oh, we right. We wanted type number three, I think. Okay. Okay, we need. We should stop. <laughs> we should stop while we're behind. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Behind. Ah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So, anyway. anybody have any daily occurrences to talk about? Shoe threw up again. Wow. <laughs> oh, nice. Wait, it's We've pronounced shoe. This is yeah, great. shoe. What shoe? did you think it was? Chew? Cho. Cho. <laughs> <laughs> well, is, how do you spell it? I've C H O U. It's yeah, so that's oh, Cho. Cho. I thought it was Cho. <laughs> Are you, you guys thought it was Cho? Well, it's not shoe. It's shoe. It's French. You should know this. You used to speak it's French. Shoe is Fr it's, it's, it's not. Like it's like my dear. Not. My, my petit In French, shoe. I would pronounce that Cho. I wouldn't no, pronounce that No, it's shoe. mon petit chou chou. <laughs> it means cavage, like my little cavage. <laughs> or my dear. I'm and, sure there's an accent. And kumori. Kumori in Japanese is shadow, I believe. At least that's what Google said. So, <laughs> so yeah. it's like, like one of those shoe-mori, <laughs> so it's like shoe-mori, which means my dear little shadow, but apparently also mori can mean like death, so her name also means death cabbage, so <laughs> I like that one better. I now know what I'm calling your dog from now on. Oh, <laughs> death cabbage. Death cabbage. But, oh, oh, whenever she's about Who's to throw up. Death cabbage. Who's a, yeah. <laughs> Who's a good death cabbage? <laughs> Whenever she's about to throw up, she knows she's not supposed to, or like that it's not good for right. her to do it in the house. So she comes up to us and she smiles. Like she makes the funniest, her cheeks <laughs> puff up. Yes, what's coming? And then her, her, the side of her like mouth curls up a whole lot. Yeah. And the first time she did it, we were just sitting on the couch and she came up to us and was looking at us like and that. smiling <laughs> with her head tilted down and that huge smile and we both start cracking up we're like she's smiling at us and then she just started blowing chunks everywhere <laughs> <laughs> so now we're always like beware of the smile oh beware goodness smile. that's if funny she smiling you know yeah you know it's coming 
Uh, did you find out about her allergies? Do what? Did you find out about her allergies? Oh, uh, we're still in the process of working okay. through it. Yeah. yeah. Mara's She's... mic is quiet. Yeah, you got quiet, it's, Mara. It's, it's quiet, man. Oh. Like, I know you're quiet in general, but you Not just got right? real quiet. You play for days. It's better now? Yeah. A little bit, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Still a little quiet, but better. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm be I'm being quiet today, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's better actually. My dog has allergies bad. Like he's Does allergic your dog to smile? everything. <laughs> oh, you have a dog he's too. To himself, I'm pretty sure he's allergic to dog fur. Like I'm. Pretty yeah, sure. I'm kind of curious if that might be yeah. what she is actually. He's allergic to grass. I know that. Which, if oh, you know that's... dogs, they ah. like pulling in grass and eating grass. He is allergic to it. He's allergic to life. Yeah. Basically. Well. That's unfortunate. Now he's got diabetes, my little dog. What kind oh. of dog do you have? An Affen Pinscher Bichon Cross. Really? Oh. That sounds kind of weird looking. Not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's horrible. <laughs> I'm sure he is. He doesn't look like the Affen Pinscher looks like a little monkey dog. Yeah. If you yeah, ever Affen for those who don't know weird. What it looks like it won like best in show at one of the recent dog shows, and it looks like kind of like a little Ewok monkey face. Yeah, that's right, <laughs> e Ewok. But and Ewok is a good description. Like his face doesn't look like a little. Does monkey he have more of the Bichon face? Yeah, things? he definitely has more of a Bichon face. Oh, yeah, so that's just good. like a little tiny black Bichon. Well, that's redemptive. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, like I like mean, a little thing. you were an Ewok then. He's really happy. clearly a sissy dog, and I love. What's his name? <laughs> his name is Enzo. Oh, oh that's a good name. yeah, that's good. Actually, name. that was one of my best friend in high school. They had this little miniature pincher mm -hmm. named Enzo, and they would always put a muzzle on it when I came because it hated me. <laughs> it would just sit there next to me, growling at me, and oh. like snapping within the muzzle. It was very uncomfortable. <laughs> Uh, this guy I used to work with, I, I went to his house a few times, and he had this massive dog. I don't know what those kinds of dogs are called. Uh, there's it's a couple a pretty, different. It's pretty. Ones. It's like a big, like Super not a. Bernard, Leon Burger. You know about like the bear looking one? Yeah. Like, like Leon Burger? Like, if, if if yeah, it stands, the, Le the Leon yeah. Burger. I think that's what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. it's like a couple that, like, they, they are not dogs. Huge fluffiness. They are best. Yeah, yeah. humongous and fluffy. Yeah. yeah. I, know, I know what you mean. So, it's like Great Dane size, but yeah, all yeah. of pop. That's, that's, yeah, it's called a Leon Burger. The fur's so, really long, so it makes him look bigger as well. <laughs> so this dog hated people who wore hats. Oh. What? Yeah, this was this thing that this dog had. I don't know how dogs develop these traits. I really don't. It's so, dogs are weird. Dogs are they weird. are. <laughs> the more, they so are. They're lovable, but they're weird. But, yeah. Like, I would go to the, this guy's house to, like, work on his network and stuff like this, because that's what I was doing at the time. And I would I would go to the door, and I, I, he opened the door one day, and then, like, it was this reflex action where I'm standing in front of the door, and this dog lunges at me, like, viciously Ugh. just jumps. And this yeah. thing's bigger than a human. It's yeah. Bad. Yeah. Huge. Lunges at me and he reaches out and snatches and, her and hat. Snatch, no, the the owner oh. reached oh. out and grabbed it by the collar in like record time, just in time to stop him. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And it was like one of the scariest things ever. This big. So massive. poet almost died. It. W I wouldn't have died. Up. I would have been knocked over for sure. This yeah. Thing gosh. Was huge. And and then you took off the hat and it gave you a nice right. big hook. So I take off the hat. He said, you have to take off your hat. I was wearing, it was winter, so I was wearing a, a toque, you know? Yeah. yeah. And a what? A toque. And What's a toque? It's a woolen cap. Okay. I've never heard it being called a toque. What do you mean you've never heard it called a toque? I've never heard it called a toque. <laughs> okay, keep going. So anyway. <laughs> it's It's the Canadian French way of saying woolen cap. Oh. It's a toque. But... I take off this, this this toque of mine, and he loved me. Like, <laughs> Instant. Instantly. Yeah. Like, transformed into like, I hate you. Take off the hat. 
you are my best friend. <laughs> I love oh you. You goodness. have food? Yeah. Like, he was a completely different dog. It's yeah. so amazing. <laughs> Did you like put the hat slowly towards your head and it started to like hate you again? And then you took it away really fast and it started to love you? No, I wasn't <laughs> cruel no. to him. Yeah, that's mean. <laughs> When I was like, I think maybe nine or ten, uh, we lived out in the woods and our neighbors had this Rottweiler and they had just gotten a puppy. The puppy had wandered down to our house, so I was like, oh, I'll go take it back, da 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 da, -da. <laughs> So I take the puppy and I'm going back and then their huge Rottweiler named Samson, whose head was like bigger than my whole torso, uh, <laughs> was out. And he got all guard dog on me and was like snapping at me. And I don't honestly remember a whole lot of what had happened because I blocked it out of my memory, I guess. Okay. But I managed to make it to the house. <laughs> that traumatic? Yeah, I, I thought I was going to die. Like, for serious. I, I really thought I was going to die. <laughs> and I'm like standing on their uh, front porch, ringing the doorbell, screaming for help. And he's got me like pinned in a corner, biting at me. Like, it was oh terrible. Oh my. Biting at It was at horrible. You. Well, yeah, like, he kept jumping at me and snapping. He didn't actually bite me, but he was, like... He was, like, trying to, yeah, intimidate. Stuff. Yeah, and so... <laughs> so then, finally, the door opens, and it's their little four-year-old daughter. And oh, she God. stands like... there, and she's like, Samson, no! And he, like, keeps going, of course. And then the two-year-old walks up behind her. I'm yeah? Like, oh, my gosh, I'm going to die in front of these poor little children. I'm going to Oh, no. <laughs> Not only will I die, but they will be. Oh my gosh! And then like... finally, the guy comes up, and as soon as he walks up to the door, Samson stops. And so he's like, "Oh hi," and he's like, "How are you?" And I'm like, "Good. I brought your puppy back." He's like, "Oh thanks. See ya." <laughs> he closes the door after oh. Samson goes in, and then that was wow. it. And I walked back and then I couldn't like walk for a while because I was shaking so bad. Yeah. I would be shaking after that. It was How insane. A ten, like ten ish or something. Oh my god. Which at that point I was a little tiny thing. A little tiny thing. You know you're not picking up any of this, right? I don't really want the poo colored brown wool. I like it. I but I don't have like... space for it. I'm almost full already. She likes the poo so colored. if someone she, you like the it's poo like chocolate. It's like dark chocolate. Oh. Right. Chocolate. Chocolate, not poop. Not everything has to be about poop, poet. Okay. <laughs> you, tell him, you try telling Fave that. <laughs> Edson, did you... Everything uh, is not about poop. Edson, did okay, you clear uh, out the uh, prank already? Do what? Oh, the prank. Yeah. Did someone build Fave a prank. giant... <laughs> no, he. you know the giant pink panties that I've got in my place? Oh, I didn't get to see them yet. Uh, Fabe um, built himself into them what? <laughs> using clay. What? No joke. He built himself in them? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And what's worse is he doesn't know proportions very well because it was like the legs were sort of like quite stumpy, which is all right. But you need the to body see it. was like a sumo wrestler body. Yes. Yeah, it was. His yeah. head was to the side with no neck. <laughs> What? And so it's like, like yeah, oh it was God, weird. Monster and this guy's a guy who wins build battles. All exactly. Time. This is what, what I'm thinking. Going on. I think he thought. I think he's done it quite cleverly because if it was good, I would have just kept it and swapped. Right. It with mine. Edson, you're right. We had that conversation, me and him. Did what? It? What? We actually so it's did. like, oh yeah, I know all about this. I, okay, <laughs> I do. I do. I do know all about it. That's what I thought. He wanted to record with me, and I think he wanted me to do it with him, and I just, yeah. I, I couldn't be bothered. And <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, I, I didn't really want to build a like, eh, thing, nothing. prank type of thing at the yeah. time. So he ended up just doing it on his own. Um, <laughs> uh, what? Not but what is this? he was saying that he wanted to build a giant U in them or something like that, and we had this conversation that... Well, why not build a giant Fabe instead? <laughs> and he said, "Yeah, you're right. If I build a giant Edson, he'd think it looked too good, and he'd keep it." Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I, I was I was saying that like, if he built oh, it properly, funny. I would have just replaced the head. And just so used I think me. that might cleverly be exactly the case. Yeah, I think that is. However, oh my however, 
with all that said, I was also in the call when he was building it. A little bit. Not oh. the whole time, but a little bit. And he kept grumbling about how terrible it looked. So Yeah, it did look bad. Um <laughs> I still haven't like I've only tore down like a bit of the face and now it looks even scarier. So <laughs> But um he's also placed you know my giant map? Uh yeah. He's built a load of like you know how I think it was code placed with lily pads um yes. in the swamp near spawn he spelled out code well Faber's spelled out you suck in clay <laughs> but he's he's done it across the world that I've loaded in the map so it's like yeah. dotted around the place on the map wow. so I, I need to travel for miles to like collect them all up <laughs> I uh, I was more That's I was brilliant. more annoyed at that than the sumo weird fade thing <laughs> sumo fade <laughs> Sumo fade. <laughs> no, I've not even said the worst part. The nipples are in line with his shoulders. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are. <laughs> it looks so weird. Yeah, that's a conversation oh, I goodness. remember him having with Code too. Like, I, I was like, I, I don't know where Fave's nipples are. I've never seen them, but if they're there, they're not in the right place. <laughs> oh my god! Talking about Fave's nipples. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> wow. Yeah. Okay, so Sounds why... like a successful prank to me. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It sounds like a good one, actually. Uh, actually, the news I just heard yesterday that sumo wrestling is on the decline. Popularity. Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Because they schedule most of the matches, like, uh, during... While people are in school and stuff, or at work. I've never seen a sumo wrestling time well, in my whole life. It's not, they it's not a thing. It's not a thing in Europe. Here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even think anyone has ever sumo wrestled in Europe, unless it's not, not in those giant suits. Japan. Yeah, in Japan. Oh. Yeah. I suppose like. Yeah, and, like it's a hard lifestyle to upkeep. In Japan, like baseball is humongous. So I guess like traditional sport like that might not be. Like they also really, really, really like their wrestling as well. Like, not mm -hmm. pro wrestling, but, like, WWF-style wrestling. Mm -hmm. What? Japan? Yeah. So I maybe that's also taking over more? It might be. It might be. Oh, dang. Ugh, all this clay that you're just leaving to despawn? <laughs> Actually, you're probably just like, no, you'll just pick it all up. <laughs> I rain. Why, there's so oh, much clay in this double chest as well. No, this is <laughs> putting this chest up. I like trying to save the clay. Pudding. Where's the chest? Okay, I need to eat. And that's been Start. 20 minutes, I think. 24. 24 minutes. Yo. <laughs> Rapper in Asia. <laughs> wow. Eminem, <laughs> watch out. Mm. Yo. Oi. Yo. Dog. <laughs> Dog. Yo diggity. No diggity. No Time doubt. Time to pack it up. We out. Anybody else remember that song? No? Okay. Just what? Hey, okay, 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 okay. Gonna bag it up. Liam used to play that song all the time. Apparently it became really popular in Europe again. Yeah, it did. Why? I don't know. Pitch perfect? Some, some songs just do. Uh, was it in... What was that? Is that No Diggity? Is that what you guys are talking about? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's in Pitch Perfect. That's how I learned it. Oh, that's probably why. So they did, like, a cover of it. Oh, uh, like, yeah. Poof. That's... Uh, yeah. The that Old Man the Poet, time, that was on the radio all the time. <laughs> I don't like this orange clay. Like, seriously, all the time. Things like that. Little catchy songs that don't have much to them. Isn't that like most pop music nowadays? Yeah, but I think even more so back in the 90s was like, if it's got a good tune, who cares if there's any lyrics? <laughs> do bop, 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 do bop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sounds familiar. Not just Hanson or, or whoever that band was. <laughs> yeah, but like, it was Hanson. <laughs> Other, like, Poet no knows matter this. what, it... Wait, it, okay, I see you mining, and then suddenly a stack of carrots falls. What? 
<laughs> I I dropped the uh, carrots. Uh, I didn't okay. have room. Yeah. I just like see all those clay and the carrots. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, I didn't have any I room. I the elusive carrot block. <laughs> those darn carrot blocks. Yeah, getting in the way of my clay.